Hi, today we are going to see one more real time interview question that is how to find the third maximum salary. Okay, already we have seen about the how to find out the second maximum salary. Now we are going to find out the third maximum salary. To find the third maximum salary, we need to eliminate the top two salaried cards. But we cannot use the same method we have already used for finding the second maximum salary. Why means if we have to find the fifth maximum salary means then we should not be writing query with four nested subquery. Okay. You know what is sub that uh, nested query now? I think you might have studied about the nested query, subquery, etc. There is no need to uh, explain about the nested query in depth. And anyway, I will briefly tell about the nested query. A nested query is a query that has another query embedded within it. Embedded within it. The embedded query is called the subquery. Okay. Nested query is a query that has another query embedded within it. We are going to use the nested query only. Okay. First, our approach is to list all the records based on the salary in the descending order with maximum salary on the top and minimum salary at the bottom. That is usual one. We have to find out the maximum one minimum salary. From that, we are going to select the top two records. I will show in the example. Here, I am going to execute the query. Here we have selected employee number and salary from employee order by salary and in descending order that means from maximum to minimum and we are getting the result like this and 7000 is the number one and 5000 is the next one so we have to select the top two how we are going to do that we are going to select the salary from then select salary from employee order by we are we are going to use the say that query what we have used before in, the, in this window okay in this session and we are going to get the top two that is where row number is lesser than three lesser than three means one and two okay now i will show you by executing this query here we have got the top two but our aim is to find out the third maximum. Okay. For that, we have to eliminate the top two salary. If we eliminate the top two means, then we will get the third one. How we are going to eliminate it? We are going to write the query as maximum salary from employee where salary not in. That means not in means we are eliminating it. Okay. Not, not in means the top two will be eliminated and then we will get the third top, that is the third maximum. Okay. This is the way you have to find out the third maximum. I will execute the query now. You can see the result. See? We have got the result as 4975. Let me confirm this. Here, we have got the result for maximum and minimum. First one is 7000. Second, two persons are receiving the same 5000 as salary. And third maximum is 4975 because we have ordered by salary in descending. That means top to bottom. The third one is 4975. The same thing, we have got the result here. So, our query is right. This is the way 
you have to find the third maximum salary normally in interviews they will ask like this only how to find out the second maximum or third maximum okay you need to practice and you have to by heart it then only you can easily tell this in interview i will explain some other queries in the next video thanks bye